videos and today I am here with another makeup video. Although my last makeup video didn't go quite as well because I have the same amount of likes to dislikes which isn't saying much but it kind of is. But I'm actually here doing a makeup look that I'm actually way more comfortable with and that is stage makeup as you saw by the title of the video. So today I'm gonna kind of do a tutorial for stage makeup for the stage because I am in theater and I feel like it'd be a lot of fun so if you guys want to continue watching the video stay tuned. So I have a whole stage makeup kit right next to me like with Ben Nye and everything and I have a couple of special effects things like scar wax and latex or whatever but they're like small little bottles. Um, but I'll probably get into more of that stuff when it's Halloween and I want to start doing Halloween looks. But I'm just going to start off with the Ben Nye Cream Foundation in Natural Beige because I am naturally this beige. I'm going to go in with a clean makeup sponge. So I kind of like to breathe on it a little bit so I can warm it up a little bit so it makes it cakey to it to be easily put on my face. I figured this might be a look I'm more comfortable with because I've done it so many times like any and every show I'm in I always have to cake it on and I'm just starting off with this like cream base. I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of stage makeup just because it's very hard to take off. So it's saying a lot right now that I'm doing it for a video and I'm kind of just giving a gen layer all around my face. Funny story, when I was first getting a stage makeup kit, we were ordering online through Amazon and my mom and dad were kind of fighting about what to get and he's like, oh it's so expensive and my mom was like, it's fine, blah 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 blah, that we ended up getting the wrong color which I still have today. So as you can see, I am beige, I'm caramel. And the color that my mom ordered the first time was this, like, dark, dark brown. And I'm like, uh, I ain't that chocolate. Like, nope. And one of my good friends, Cornelia, she she's um, pretty dark. But she was like, dang, that's darker than my skin tone. And it was so funny. And I'm also bringing it a little bit down my neck. So it kind of looks even, not just like it's on my face and it doesn't look like it spreads all around. Okay, so now that I'm done with that step, I am going to go in with some contour. Now, this isn't normal contour, like with a contour palette and brush. This is like stage contour. So there will kind of be very little blending. And the cream kit that it comes with is this color, but I like to use a clown white and blend that in a little bit to the highlights of my face so I'm gonna do that now. I remember being in a show where oh she white will blend it all out but I remember being in a show where we were all having to be clowns and do like really crazy clown makeup but it wasn't like cute clowns it was like grungy clowns. I had to put this white all over my face so it didn't turn my skin white, but I definitely went up a couple of shades. And I like to put some under my eyebrows. I know it looks like super white, but like because of blending it out and you don't want to blend out too much, it's fine. Because this one is just too close to my skin tone to be able to use. So I don't want to go lighter than that or darker than that, so I decided to go super lighter than that. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the sponge that I was using earlier and kind of just blend it all out. Now, like I said in my last makeup video, I'm not a professional at makeup at all, but this is how I've always done my stage makeup, and there's never been an issue when I actually go and perform on stage for a simple stage standard look. So I added all the highlights, so now I'm going to go in with some of the darker tones for the contour. And pretty much all the high-end products I'm using are Ben Nye, so if you want 
to get your foot in the makeup or anything like that Ben Nye kit it's literally a, it's a basic little kit it comes with a stippling brush one of these based off of your skin tone a skin tone thing a sponge like just some basic makeup stuff that everyone can use for the stage so now I'm gonna go in with the contour which I know like putting it on it looks very out there but like once I blend it in it'll look a little calm down it'll look more like I'm just out of the 80s with like really heavy makeup instead of like why does she have all those lines on her face and I'm gonna add a little bit under my lip let me get a little bit more to add right there and then I gotta do the jawbone as well which I have a very round face so it's kind of like hard for me to contour and that's why I don't necessarily contour when doing actual makeup because I'm not very good at it I don't like to change the shape of my face much and it's really hard for me to do and then a little bit at the temples so now I'm gonna go in and just blend everything in so I'm gonna start at the jawbone get it all blended in make it not look as sharp of lines but also not get rid of that color completely I'm trying not to blend it out too super much, but I also do need to blend it out a lot because it does look like very sharp lines. Then sometimes I just go in like with my finger because I can get it like more precise with the blending out of things. And I just kind of go in and out sometimes with it, just adding more, blending more and stuff until I get like a look that I like of it looks natural and not just like I caked my face even though I'm definitely caking my face right now. Doesn't look too bad, not too bad. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this blush color, this rouge color. And I'm using kind of a little bit more of a fluffier brush um because it'll blend out more and I'm kind of dabbing it in a little bit. Ooh that's a lot. <laughs> This will be my blush for the apples of my cheeks, and now I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of blend it in. Just to bring some life back into my face. Ooh, that looks so good! I look kissed by the sun. Or I got a sunburn. <laughs> so that, that just brought back so much more color back into my face than before. So now, before I do anything else, so this is the part where I set in the look. I have some Ben Nye Translucent Powder right here. And I have this, like, fluffy, like, pad that I use to kind of, like, press it into the powder and then really, like, press it into my face. But I have to be very gentle or else it does not look good. And I also don't want to cover up, like, everything that I kind of just worked on. So I just kind of dab it in a little bit before I start pressing it in and make sure it kind of gets on all parts of my face. And then I like just dab it in and like really press in everything that I've done. So this kind of helps set everything in so that way like when we're sweating a lot on stage it stays on my face and doesn't like sweat off. Because especially when you're in a big movement piece, like let's say you're in a big musical or something, you sweat up there. So you want to make sure like everything that you worked like, let's say like 30 minutes, an hour for it stays on. So now I'm going to go to one of my favorite parts, which is the eyes. And normally you don't really have to do anything for the eyes, but depending on a show that we're doing, like if it's just light makeup because it's a period piece, so you don't want to have a bunch on, or maybe it's more of a modern piece, so you want to make sure you have like a nice chic everyday look. So I'm going in with my Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay, and I always use ounce. Uh, from the inner corner. So I'm going in with the fluffy brush that is provided and I put ounce all in the inner corner and then also all around the eye area to make sure everything is nice and pressed in. And then I like to go in with these two shades, Lumber and Scorched, because it's a nice look that's not too in your face, but it's still like something that's a cute like everyday look. So I'm going to go in with the other side of this fluffy brush and start with Lumbre, or Lumber, I don't really know how to say it, and just put it all over my eye. And I can tell like in person, but I don't know how it's going to show up on camera, but it just adds in a little bit of 
vivacity into your look. And then I'm gonna go in on the other side as well. Now I'm gonna go in with the scorched color and kind of do the outside a little bit and get it like blended outward. So obviously I'm doing my eyes a little bigger than maybe I normally would. Usually because when you're on stage, like you might have people that are sitting a hundred feet back in the audience and they can't see your face. So they want to be able to see certain features of your face. And now I'm going to go in with a little trick that James Charles taught me because I've been watching a lot of James Charles lately. And that's kind of like where you clean up a little bit of anything with your foundation. Ooh, that was not my foundation. That was a lighter color. Ah! I used the highlight in the kit instead of my foundation so I just have the foundation in now okay and it looks kind of ratchet right now but I'm gonna go in with a sponge in a second so I'm gonna go in with the sponge to kind of like blend it out back into my skin and perfect and I don't normally do eyeliner because when you do eyeliner it on the top of the eyes it kind of like closes your eyes in when you do like black eyeliner so what I normally do is actually white eyeliner to open up my eyes more so it can be more expressive I forget how crappy this eyeliner is so I'm actually gonna go in again with the clown white I have to be very careful because like I've gotten this stuff in my eyes before and it hurts so bad I think anytime you're working around your eyes, you just always have to be careful because you never know what's going to happen. So you kind of see my eyes are going to opened up more, but I'll put on mascara so it's not just like, ooh, pretty look, and then it's white. So now I'm going to do it to the other side. If I keep blocking off the camera with my mirror, it's because like, um, I'm kind of blind in, what is it, in this eye, so I have to, so if I'm working on this eye, like, I don't know, I just have to look closer. Yeah, so my eyes are a little irritated because I might have gotten some in my eyeball, but it's fine. So now I'm going to go in with my mascara. So just regular black mascara. I just use regular, like it doesn't really matter which one you use. I'm using the Artistry 3-in-1 lash boosting mascara so i'll do the top lashes i love this mascara it helps a lot with making your lashes look bigger than they are yeah so the white under my eyes it kind of makes me look like doll like or whatever um so i'm gonna blend out the white a little bit into the skin tone that i used so it's not like right in your face okay so blend it out a little bit now onto my brows and i do use this darker eyebrow pencil it actually came in with the darker skin tone kit because the lighter skin tone kit came in with this one but i have naturally dark eyebrows so i want to have one that fits my skin tone better so i'm just gonna Go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. Such a difference already. I honestly love having really dark eyebrows and light eyes because I feel like having light eyes and dark hair makes my eyes pop more and my eyes really show off how dark my hair is. Perfecto. Now I'm going to go in with this kind of brush. It's not my favorite kind of brush to use. I like the little spoolie brushes for my eyebrows, but this is what the makeup kit has to offer. So that is what I'm using. This is the fourth time filming this outro. I got a phone call from Deandra, and ever since that happened, I have not been able to film this outro. The first time, I forgot to turn my camera back on. The second and third time, the camera was out of focus, and I made sure, double, triple checked, it was in focus this time. So the last thing I did in this makeup look was I added these two lipstick colors. Just slapped them right on, and there you have it. You have a finished makeup look. So this makeup look is perfect for stage standard makeup, if you wanted to do an everyday makeup look and instead of using the caked on stuff you can use your own foundation it is a perfect look for an everyday look so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like these with halloween coming up be sure to leave in the comments down below what kind of special effects makeup you want me to do do you want bloody and gory do you want glamorous makeup let me know in the comments down below and if you're one of my friends and you watch this video be sure to text me your favorite thing about makeup so please be sure to follow me on all my social media at the ashley rosa except for snapchat which is at flower Rosa Sierra for a run zero and like this video subscribe comment down below and again I'm Ashley Rosa and thank you so much for watching this video bye
should be done this time. 